it's Alicia. Welcome back to Beauty from A to Z. Here we are in my beauty room. Oh, I cannot. It's done. It's painted. The carpet's on the floor. The furniture's where it's supposed to be. I've got a lot of my accessories done. But there's just a few more things I need to do. Curtains, a few more things here and there. And then I'm going to give you a full room tour with befores and afters of how it used to look and how gorgeous it is now like I just want to be in here every second of the day the only problem is is right now it's 9,000 degrees and there's no AC in here and I'm dying so if you hear the fan I'm sorry but it's necessary I just it's too much right now I guess it's supposed to be like this all week 4th of July I'm not complaining we have winter so long here in the Northeast but it's just really hot I'm looking a little haggard right now <laughs> But anyways, regardless of all that, I am here today to give you my first impression review on a new foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. And it comes in a glass bottle like this. It's actually really pretty, kind of a nice feminine genie in a bottle shape. And I have it in the shade 60 Sandy Beige. Um, there was quite a few shades to choose from. I feel like maybe there was 12. I've watched some other reviews too and I think there's 12. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't really pay attention to the range, um, if they had really dark or really light shades, but honestly for a drugstore foundation, 12 shades is pretty decent, so hopefully you'll be able to find your shade. Um, you get 0.67 fluid ounces, so it's a little less than a normal foundation that would give you an ounce. And it does have broad spectrum SPF 20 in it, which is great for your skin in the summer. Now this foundation is very similar, oh I was going to bring it in here but I forgot it, to the L'Oreal Magic um, Nude Magic Foundation. It's very liquidy. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's basically like water when you shake it in this bottle. And the direction shade is shake it really, really well apply it to your fingers and then put it on your skin. Now it comes with this applicator that looks like this and you think it's a dropper but it's not. It's just a little cone shape with a tip on the end. And I have to say that that's maybe the only thing that kind of rubs me the wrong way about this foundation. Um, but I did do a clip this morning of me applying it to, to my face so I'll probably insert it now. Um, I applied it to one side just to show you first and then put it all over my entire face. What I did basically was I shook it up really good like the bottle says to do. I took the top off and then took this little wand and just sort of spread my fingers, um, spread the foundation over my fingers and then applied it to my face that way and just sort of rubbed it in. When you're applying it, it does feel really, really smooth, very skin-like. Um, it did blend very easily with my fingers, but because it's so liquidy, I definitely wouldn't use a brush. I feel like you would get a lot of brush lines and it would be very difficult to blend out. And I was also hesitant to use a beauty blender because I was scared that it would soak up most of the product because it's so liquidy. Um, thinking about it a little more, maybe if I applied the product to my face with my fingers and then used my beauty blender, so it was already kind of soaking into my skin and then I sort of blended it out, I would think that would work. So if you wanted to try it that way, great. Um, but it definitely gives a pretty good coverage. I would say light to medium. and. It's hard to explain this foundation and I really put it through hell today because like I said it's like 90 degrees outside and I worked all day, I was touching my face um, and you know right now I look a little rough but throughout the day it was pretty good. Um, I also filmed a little update you know like five hours in. I've been wearing this makeup now for honestly like 10 hours. Hey guys, so okay, this is my midday update. It's been four or five hours since I put on my foundation. And I honestly think it's holding up pretty good. I've been touching my face a good bit because my eye has been acting up really bad. I've ran out of my Allegra and Nasacort and 
my allergies are just coming back hardcore. See how it messes up all oh, my eye makeup, my concealer on the lid. It's horribly annoying. But the foundation, especially if you look on this side of my face, it's really holding out pretty nicely. I mean, there's a little bit of um, luminosity and shininess, but I kind of add that as well with my highlighter. Um, it's not like a full, full coverage. I can see like some of my freckles and things coming through on my skin, but um, so far it's definitely holding up and I mean holding up to its claims. It's a good lightweight skin-like foundation. So I'm going to check back with you at the end of the day and we'll see how I feel about it then. So I think it's actually held up quite well. It gives you a really nice skin-like look. It's not matte, it's not luminous, it just looks like your skin. And then once you apply it and let it set, it's just so smooth. I mean, it doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything at all. I mean, I'm sweating right now, so my skin's a little sticky. But I feel like if it was cold outside, I wouldn't even know that I was wearing makeup. So I think that's probably one of the reasons why they released this at this time is because it's summer and you really want a nice, lightweight makeup on these really hot days. Um, and you don't want to look like a cake face. You want it to look like skin and you don't want to feel it on your skin. And this does both of those things. Um, the SPF is also great for these hot days to protect your skin. And overall, I mean, I like it. I, I do. Um, I don't know why I'm a little hesitant about it. It's just hard for me to give a 100% opinion when I was literally sweating so much all day. But looking at my face in the viewfinder right now, I mean, it looks even. I did have a little bit of allergy problems with my eyes um, earlier today, so some of my concealer wore off, but I didn't touch up my foundation at all just for the purposes of this video. But again, for a 10 hour wear, I am definitely very impressed. Um, I think this would be very good for girls with dry skin like me. I have very dry skin. Um, I think oily skin could use it as well because once you put it on your skin, you just let it set and then it feels like skin and you can always put a powder over it if you're extremely oily throughout the day. Um, so I really do enjoy it. I'm going to use it more and more throughout these hotter months. Um, and I use my L'Oreal Liquid Nude Magic. I can never remember the names exactly. But I use that um, during these hotter months as well. And that, you know, I don't use that as much because that's a liquid to powder. And I feel like it almost looks like, it does, it looks like powder when it sets and it almost gives me a little bit of a cake face, but this doesn't do that. So that's definitely a huge plus for this in my book. So I would definitely encourage you to try it. The only downside to me is this applicator. I'm not sure what exactly they were thinking with this, what the plan was, but it, I mean, it's still usable, but it's just a little strange. That's all I can say. Um, again, the shade range was good. I think this might be, well, it actually matches pretty good, but when I put it on this morning, I thought maybe it was a hint dark, but um, I'm getting tanner as the days go on anyway, and I think that's what I was thinking when I bought it anyway. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. Please leave comments down below and let me know if you tried this and what you think. And if you'd like to see any reviews on new products that are coming out, I would love to do them for you. And just so you know, for future videos, I kind of um, had this little idea. I got this little stand at Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna display every, well not everything, but the key products that I'm wearing on my face for the video. For example, um, today I have on my L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Blush in Soft Berry, and this Wet n Wild Nail Polish. This is in the color Club Havana. I've got on this Black Radiance Eyeshadow Quad on my eyes, and uh, NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie, Wet n Wild Lip Slick in 903C, and then Buxom Lip Gloss in Emma on top. And I'm not going to go through them any, every time. I'll probably just list them in the description box down below. But just so you know, if I'm not doing a tutorial, if I'm doing a review or favorites or a talk through, uh, talking video of some sort, I'm going to have this in the background in case you're curious. 
wow, I really like that highlight, or what lip color is that, or what's on her nails? I'm gonna put the major things that I think will interest you on my little stand back there. So give this video a thumbs up if you like that idea. I think it's kind of cool. And I am so excited to give you this room tour. I'm still in the process of bringing things in, seeing what I want to leave in my bedroom, and seeing what I want to bring in here. I just feel like the options are endless, and this is just such a beautiful room to be in. I love it so much, and I'm so pleased with it, and I can't wait to show you. But anyway, that is not <laughs> the point of this video. I think that you should try the Dream, the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation, um, especially because it's summer. I think it's definitely what we're all looking for in a foundation. So let me know what you think. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all at Beauty From A to Z. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.